hello everyone uh, again today we are going to discuss about very important topic it is like uh, human space flight research and how international space station experiments uh, that can help the humans that he can able to, he or she can fly to space and uh, myself uh, jake marangitation a human space flight researcher and currently working and organizing the international space station experiments uh, now so we just we go through some of the uh, some of the brief start of uh, how the soviet union stunned the world on uh, november 7 of 1957 with the launch of sputnik 2 on the board of the small satellite was the little dog of Laika, the first animal to the orbit and um, this uh, the first animals astronauts like although there will be no distinct boundary between the atmosphere and space and imaginary line you know like it's a uh, 68 miles from the earth surface called the karma line so it's usually where the scientist says the earth atmosphere meets the outer space the first animal to reach the space uh, not counting the any bacteria that may have the hitch hiding or the previous rockets you know like <laughs> there will there will be fruit flies on February 20, 1947, the United States uh, put uh, some fruit flights on board to the capture the German uh, V-2 rocket to study the radiation exposure at high altitudes in 3 minutes and 10 seconds. The fruit flies reached the distance of 80, 68 miles. The first mammal in the space was Albert II, was a uh, recreationist monkey, and Albert I is the mission has been unsuccessful. But second, Albert reached the distance of 83 miles on January 14 of uh, 1949. Uh, Albert was anesthetized during the flight and implanted the sensors to measure the vital signs. Unfortunately, he is uh, died upon the re-entry. Uh, you know, like uh, the while the United States was also the experimenting with the monkeys and Soviet Union experimenting with the dogs, and during 1950s and 1960s, uh, the Soviet Union had a lot of slots of um, uh, at least 57 dogs. However, because of this, some dogs flew more than once, uh, fewer than um, 15, seven actually just participated. The first dog uh, was and launched, and also the Tiger and Dixon was were bored in R13, and uh, they reached uh, the dogs reached the space uh, on July 22nd, uh, 1951, but uh, did not get into the orbit, and it's from the moments of successful record from this space flight, and after like. Uh, the Soviet Union sent in, uh, two more dogs of Belka and Strelka into the space uh, in August 19 and 1916. The animals were the first uh, actually the orbiter and return alive. The other members of the first uh, space uh, mingle, including the the guardian, the squirrel monkey, squirrel monkey, and launched in 600 miles high of December 19, uh, December 13 of 1958. He died in the splashdown of the floating device was been flayed and he able to recashish the monkeys and backers and squirrels were been launched uh, together in May 28, uh, 1959. They flew uh, 3000 miles high, high and returned uh, unharmed. However, Abel can return during this uh, operations removed from the electrode from under the skins. So on 19, uh, uh, you can say like an, on 19, uh, uh, of uh, this uh, January, the two Russian dogs of Vetox and Uglix have been launched in the February 22nd of 1966. They arbitrated the world record breaking of uh, 22 days, and the humans did not surpass the record until 1967. So uh, this is the doctor of medicine science and chief research associated at associate at uh, institute of biomedical medicine uh, russian academy of sciences that uh, lin so uh, he was uh, the man who's also the behind one of the successful missions who paved the man into the space so that is the you can look at that uh, the the doctor who is uh, also in the on the left side uh, the picture and uh, I, I'm doing my visit. I took the photographs with the like uh, the monument, uh, the uh, the uh, monuments. 
and uh, later on the space exploration scenario now it is like uh, uh, you know it's uh, started from the Leica and then they put in this I mean like uh, the Sputniks began the space race and um, the uh, the animals started the human space flight of Leica and later on we going and studying with the Earth, Moon and Mars and uh, other planets and beyond so some of the activities like um, we can so we can think about the international space station and uh, after that uh, we go about that uh, uh, discuss about the man landing on the moon and uh, also maybe you can give a few glimpses uh, how about um, the landing on the mars something like so that will be like uh, uh, different plans i mean they've been releasing it uh, india also trying to land on the moon. Uh, sending to the space actually uh, going to international space station and also they have the plans of constructing some uh, kind of a, a lunar orbiter or something like and uh, uh, there will be some of the several countries like uh, JAXA is doing uh, the lunar missions and also uh, the US and uh, Russia are planning for uh, the lunar orbiters and uh, building the another space station so I don't know it's like uh, it's like a purely robotic uh, the human space flight kind of thing but uh, there will be like a uh, lot of promotions the activities are happening around and you can look at that uh, international space station where i mean the humans can doing the experiments and exploring the things after that you can see the uh, the overview of international space stations they have the different uh, segments that is organized by several uh, I mean the the bonus of uh, the thing you can see this the international space station size is like and the mass is like uh, uh, the pressurized model approximately is like in 73 meters and uh, it has the truss length it goes up to the 109 meters and uh, there will be like the solar array length it is goes to 239.4 meters and uh, Mostly the mass it goes to 4,000, uh, sorry, 419,000 uh, kilograms approximately. The habitable volume it goes to uh, 388 cubic meters. It is not including the basic vehicles like a soy or something. And uh, the pressurized volume it goes up to the 916 cubic meters with the beam expanded up to the 932 cubic meters. The mostly the eight uh, solar arrays are provided a uh, 75 to 90 kilowatt of uh, power lines of uh, this will be like in a computer code it's approximately 2.3 million and uh, mostly i'm going to give in a small um, uh, inputs about the space station facts up to 290 239 individuals from 19 countries have been visited so far the international space station the space station has been continuously occupied since uh, the November 2000 and an international crew of the um, six people they lived and work and wiring this while traveling at the speed of five miles per second and orbiting earth about uh, every 90 minutes and uh, in into the in, in 24 hours the space station makes 16 orbits of uh, earth and traveling through the 16 sunrises and sunsets the picky which sunsets in the record of um, spending the most uh, total time of living and walking the space in 665 days on september 2nd of 2017 the aircraft uh, solar panels that power the station that means sometimes you look at the sky and down on or the dusk so see the spaceship is flying over your home and even you can look at you live like in a big city that uh, finding the sites and opportunity you can find in uh, spot the station dot nasa dot gov you can find in the website as well uh, the living and working space in the space station largely than six bedroom house and uh, has the six sleeping quarters and the two bedroom two bathrooms and a gym and a 360 dv bay window and to to migrate the loss of uh, the muscle and also the bone mass of a uh, uh, human body in the microgravity the astronauts work out at least two hours a day the astronauts and cosmos were conducting more than 
221 space blocks and still count, counting the space station construction and maintain the upgrade since 1998 and the solar array of the wingspan is nearly it's like uh, 240 feet and it's uh, it's almost the same length of the world's uh, largest uh, passenger aircraft the airbus a380 the large models of other species of space station is a uh, kind of uh, 42 assemble assembly flights and 37 the large models uh, we can say like there will be like a space station it's like 357 feet at the end to end it's like uh, one of the american football field it look like and uh, there will be it's like a uh, 55 foot of canada arm it's like a two and also it's like in a seven different joints at uh, two different effectors and it has some kind of the hands you might be looking into this and uh, this will be entire model is deployed in the science experiments and all even uh, sp transport walking of the space uh, i mean space walk for the astronauts and you can see like the sim six uh, spaceships have been connected into the space station at once and this the spacecraft has been arrived to the the space station as soon as the six hours after the launching from the air and there are four uh, different uh, cargo spacecraft delivered and the science uh, deliver the science and cargo and also the supplies the Northrop Grumman's the Cygnus and also the SpaceX Drag and JAXA's uh, HTV and Russian's Progress and uh, through the exp expeditions of uh, 58 and the microgravity um, laboratory has been hosted more than 2700 research investigation from the researchers more than one or three countries the station's orbital path takes its 90% uh, of uh, Earth populations and with astronaut talking millions of images and uh, 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 at the planet below you can look at some uh, UI and you can look at in the NASA website so you can find more information about the uh, the space station uh, images even Russian Roscosmos websites also it's allowing some of the images that you can see uh, more than 20 different researchers and payload and hostel outside of uh, some some of the the experiments and uh, the space stations uh, travels at uh, equivalent distance up to the moon and back in about in day the water recovery systems that is uh, reduces the crew uh, dependence on the water delivered by the cargo spacecraft by 65 percent from about one gallon a day to three gallon on orbit software monitors the approximately 3350000 3, sensors and um, ensuring the station and the the crew health safety the space station has the internal pressure and volume that's equal to that the boeing 747 more than 50 computers and control systems on the space station and more than 3 million lines of the software code that the ground support is like 1.5 million lines of the flight software core in the international space station in u.s segments alone this will be like uh, uh, 1.5 million so flight software code runs and 44 computers communicating via 100 data networks and transferring uh, 400,000 signals like pressure or temperature measurements or wall positioning like that and humans factor engineering it's like uh, there will be like when you are trying to fly into the space there will be like uh, the similar procedure as yesterday my colleague uh, dr agata she mentioned about for the analog programs about and also the basic training that what we provide in poland so here uh, you know like the crew selections and also we after the crew selection we offer the basic training uh, and also the advanced training will be offered from like uh, you know kind of the star city uh, in Yuri Gagarin cosmonaut training centers and uh, also some of the specific training uh, also they also they offer and uh, there will be like after well reviewing the crew selection the basic training and advanced training and specific training uh, done the once the crew will be ready as this course it is like kind of the life supporting systems and also the flight shoot something and also uh, it goes in um, human science and uh, bioastronautics so we would like to uh, tell you about uh, this uh, my, this was my recent visit to um, institute of biomedical problems that were the astronaut selections and also the isolated missions where they conducted 
so it is in Moscow some of the signs uh, without the gravity is like there will be like some kind of uh, a dry immersion and some volunteer need to spend a three to 21 days will be immersed into like a kind of in a water and uh, this will be like uh, in dry immersion the body is supported with them um, eventually without the pressure points and this much like in a uh, floating astronauts in the space so these results could help the diverse and the countermeasures of the astronauts and and uh, the people is like the um, uh this was the dry immersion the baths have been creating when i'm doing my visits so it is used to create the, the aspects of living of weightlessness on the earth and um, uh, today to up till date so it's like a 565 cosmonauts and astronauts and taikonauts from different countries have traveled to the space this path began on april 12 and 1961 with so with cosmonauts uh, Yuri Alexevich Gagarin is like uh, 59 years have been passed since the first man uh, and the first face placed you can see him this is during uh, occasion I would like to thank my uh, real life hero and my friend and Dr. Sergei Yoselevich he's always inspiring me into uh, you know to fly into the space and um, he has been spent more than 747.59 days in earth orbit and um, he have been to the do on duty of the mid space station he orbited the earth more than 11,968 times and traveled about you can see like 550 million kilometers exactly the 59 years ago you know the Yuri Gagarin took um, the mankind to the space I wish to fly fly to the space and uh, dreams should be allowed some of the significant of explorations about we are planning to what exactly we're doing in uh, we offering like um, the Soya spacecraft simulators trainings and also we are organizing the International Space Station experiments that uh, we can it can fly to uh, International Space Station on board to conduct some the experiments and uh, we also working on the lunar exploration rover and that can fly to the moon and to explore the moon surface and uh, we trying to exp promoting the industry and we trying to inspire the young generation offering some kind of the courses and also trying to they support the experiments the, um, I mean to organize the experiments and uh, providing the guidelines and consultancy for them and um, the some of the preparation for the full-fledged human space explorations with a partner with the different industries like cooperation with made in the private space companies and also we try trying to talk with the uh, space IR and some of the other our well, Google X lunar X prize teams that uh, we don't want to give up and uh, we started to to working on next uh, preparing the next moon landing mission by 2025 that was the planning so we trying to demonstrate on 3d printing on the moon surface and also trying to find the remotely controllable some small robotic uh, kits uh, driving uh, things and also the, we the 3d bioprinting on the moon that's also we wanted to establish on there and next is like an agriculture the it will be like a lunar plant study it's like lunar plant factory that we want to try to demonstrate in upcoming things so it may be trying to uh, maybe who know, who never knows like maybe you guys maybe your children your maybe the grandchildren maybe go to the moon and spend some vacations and they maybe plant some fruits and you know and uh, what are the resources of uh, Russian orbital segments that uh, uh, we are planning to propose in this here yeah, the resource with the Russian segments is currently current configuration it will be utilization it's like we currently we building for like you know in a, with a partner with the Russian partners uh, with multi-purpose working stations and it will be powered up to uh, one point kilowatt uh, per day it's like and also it's like information exchange channel up to 4 GB sessions and uh, you know and this was a technical implementation plans uh, of a mini research center is like a we just we are planning and here there will be like onboard power outlets and multi-purpose workstation and uh, here some cold plates uh, for the different biological instruments and uh, we have uh, the mechanical interface to installation requires when, whenever the supplies when it is to the larger document uh, i mean equipments you can say some uh, uh, the universal scientific equipment platform that's uh, allow them like um, uh, these uh, equipments can be delivered through progress of the soya spacecraft 
and uh, it can enable to accommodate some kind of the 1u 2u and 3u size of um, different sizes of equipments in the form factor of the cubesats and we can it can be reconfigured with the memory cards um, so that uh, we can able to composition within an explit to adapter and uh, there will be like the different configurations as i mentioned it's like uh, the remote control softwares and also the components that you can able to the uh, you know to organize your experiments some of the planned experiments uh, uh, here you can say um, uh, like exploring the behavior of uh, different types of the water solutions uh, under the external environment like the temperature and increasing and demotion and the dynamic magnetic info and uh, miscible liquids and uh, depressed solutions solutions with the magnet properties and solid solutions and mostly the idea the objective is that to collecting the comparative data about the behavior of solutions and technical and biological analogs of a liquid environment in earth-like and space conditions and the next is like a planned experiments is like you know the green experiments that is uh, cultivating the food plants in many greenhouse it's look like we're building like in cube sets like form of thing and it can be like uh, the greenhouse the testing the technology for the agriculture in the, in the space station environment the evaluation evaluation of uh, uh, cultivated plants and uh, organic plants is ensuring the the extra radiation of uh, psychological support of the crew and um, the plant experiments like uh, 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 you know uh, it's a it's a kind of the drone uh, it may be small, small drones kind of the flying uh, equipments that uh, we try to um, uh, put in the international space station and to find out the how the drone will behave at the, the microgravity environment we and also the technology and space of robotic systems from uh, the algorithms testing so uh, that also the possible here you know like one of the interesting factors is like uh, the experiment for the survival you know this like a uh, behavior of biological materials and organism under the external and um, uh, environment is changing and you know the changing the gas composition and also the pressure and the dynamic magnetic field you know you can say like there will be like uh, the objective is doing it because of researching uh, for microorganisms and resistance of the um, human space flight conditions here look at some uh, interesting thing is like a nano sensor it's like monitoring an inhabited compartment of the gas composition in order to developing the testing of sensor devices based on micro sensors analytical their softwares and nano materials the objective is like technological researchers for the creating the new type of the sensors that you can onboard in international space station to test them uh, and here the some of the components like a commercial electronic components they export in the higher radioactive background and also the microgravity in, in order to uh, development testing and refining of equipments and commercials for the educational work the testing uh, technological researchers for exploring for possibilities using the the cheap and widespread the electronic components and uh, here it's like uh, the pharmacologium it's uh, this most exciting the important research is like uh, how ants behaving in the international space station you know like uh, the research will be like ant family can behave in the microgravity this will be like uh, modes of behavioral changing and uh, aspects of living changing and until the structure microgravity the modes of the behavior of high social systems that researching using and examples of the insects and uh, the some of the um, outbreak of experiments like international space station the radiation background monitoring of uh, solar photon events in registrations of comparing with the, our satellites so space weather properties that can be researched with using the one u cube sats and uh, the planned experiments that will be the like a uh, cosmic drive so and register using the digital camera and also they will send the clouds of chamber the researching the links between the uh, uh, galactic uh, cosmic rays uh, and also the earth uh, storm activity that we also can be monitor so here some uh, the experiments of the proto plant it's uh, researching a different type of uh, surface particles addition into the big structures in microgravity 
The objective is like a simulation of a protoplanetary disk in the growth of the conditions. Um, it's like to understand the behavior, how is a protoplanet is being this. And uh, some of the plant experiments here, like, you know, the bioenergy, they generating the electricity from bio biological microbiological fuel cells yeah mfc you can take you know, we can call it in short form it's like a device that convert the chemical energy to the electricity and uh, the, by the action of the microorganisms uh, this technology is under testing it's like uh, the objective is like we're thinking to technology and also build the prototype testing the alternative power supplies in the microgravity so maybe we, this may be the uh, the uh, next, uh, you know, the important uh, uh, technology that may be help them, you know, into doing the things. So, and uh, this is more importantly, like uh, in 3D bioprinting solutions. Uh, in uh, 3D bioprinting solutions, has been we have assigned an agreement to Roscosmos in uh, 2018, and then uh, it was the first world's first bio solution. I mean, biofabrication in the space that was the demonstrated. In our last year, uh, the first experiments will be the like printing of the thyroid gland and also the cottage user. This is like a magnetic bioprinter, and uh, the organ organoid is like is a part of the scientific experiments that use it to frequently use for the experiments uh, to you know by business to the science. And it's it's just it's like in you know, a magnetic printer. This like the cosmonaut is holding this and the cosmo uh, and it's uh, testing the bioprinter how it is behaves here. Uh, the three bioprinting solutions is like uh, you can say like it was in a development and of the ground testing agreement of the bioprinter it was in 2007 it was uh, developed and also uh, trying for the test cases and the equipment is uh, testing for the we need to offer giving the crew training for example like if some customer is operating this uh, 3D bioprinter means here we need to provide, offer them training how to handle this ex experiments. So that and after that the experiment is uh, flying to the space and then sending some samples to the earth. So it's like in around it's like in 18 months of the timeline. So after that uh, it is like uh, the single print experiments of the bioprinters that the small delivery systems are attached to in a multiple experiments of a 3D bioprinter here. Uh, you look at here the um, uh, analysis of the 3D printing of the samples on the air that can be done actually it's a it's a first in the step uh, first what we're going to do is the cultivation of the cottage of and also the thyroid gland cells it was there and um, the next step is with the formation of the tissues of the into the spheroids it's like into the four to eight thousand cells in the sphere in a diameter of uh, 200 microns in the form of um, the micro tissue under the fusion and next third step will be it goes to the the magnetic bioprinter and uh, it goes and after that the maturization of a bioprinting of constructions uh, into the incubator and after only now 24 hours it goes to the uh, fixation of the samples and then the sending the samples to the air and uh, analyzing of the printing printer samples on the yard so let's uh, this uh, try to doing the things uh, in man in the space is like uh, some of the ideas that I would like to offer here is like uh, the different names of the instruments uh, in international space station especially in Russian segment if you look at this the study of this space crew behavior lost thoughts into the long duration of the flight is always must know uh, next is like an uh, immuno is like the investigation of neuro endurance and immunoclonic changes of before during the space flight on international space station and uh, methrin is like uh, the investigation of dynamic of radiological situations throughout the flight course and international space station compartments uh, as well as the uh, complicated radiations dosage of uh, anthropomic plantum of accommodated inside and outside of the stations and the sports too is like uh, additional psychological informations to extend the notions about the human adaptations to zero gravity fly facts and the chrome to mass spectrometer is like investigation of human biological status using the the uh, chromography and also the mass spectrometry method 
Uh, motor car is like a study of the mechanism of uh, sensor motors coordinations in the weightlessness. The virtual, there's an more experiments that is called uh, uh, it, uh, the spatial coordinate orientation and also the interaction of uh, uh, afferent systems in uh, weightless conditions. This palm is an ex examination of the feature of these structures and also the functional states. Uh, features of the different sections and the uh, geocentric track they reveal the specific character of uh, diagnostic systems changes occurring, occurring in the space flight conditions the biocard the investigation of uh, electrophysical properties uh, and also the psychological uh, properties uh, it's like the features of the cardio output charge change under the functions of effect of NPLB using the cardiogram of uh, 12 leads the the cardio vector is kind of called like uh, the study of the effect of the the space flight uh, factors and the spatial energy distributions of the heartbeats of the road there's a respiratory and also the left uh, heart of the adaptation of the built restrictions and uh, the study of the effect of the uh, this weightlessness we for the long during the weightlessness of experiments the the cosmo card the study of the effect of uh, the factor of uh, electro psychological physiological the characters of a microbiome and also the related to the vegetative of the blood circulations and it will be used for the conditions for the long durations of weightlessness the the uh, morsi the monitoring of the metabolism and uh, its uh, regulation and the dynamics of the the protective systems of human organisms and ecological factors of uh, space flight on the international space station the uh, the prodent 7 to it's like an investigation of uh, tissues that is uh, stayed in the flight conditions and the bms is like uh, uh, study of information support process of flight uh, medical support on the tele equipment telemedical equipments on board and biosignal is like a study of uh, the effects of micro gravity at interest characteristics of functional status of the cells the algometria 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 is like a, uh, investigation of the pain sensitivity of the human space flight this is more important because how you feel the pain sensitivity in when you are in the human space flight and was must know it's like a study of the influence of multinational composition international scope interpersonal of intergroup uh, interactions and next is the dan is like a, the role of uh, boro receptors in the change in the active of uh, central respiratory me mechanisms in weightlessness the uh, con content uh, the experiment is like a remote monitoring of psycho psycho pco psychological pco psychological uh, state of the crew as a uh, well as intra group and uh, this uh, uh, group is like it's like as well as the this like intra and intra group interaction of basis of comprehensive analysis of communication between the crew and the mission control center so the like next is like in a um, uh, here it's like um, uh, investigation of uh, efficiency of pharmacological uh, the corrections of the minor metabolisms in the, the conditions of long exposure to the microgravity and uh, next is like next experiment is like a uh, pneumatlant it's like uh, assessment of impact of stress on the immunology immuno immunity and uh, you can say like uh, immunity and uh, stress reactive systems in the space and a multidisciplinary approach the um, movement of fluids uh, uh, before the during and of, uh, after the long duration of the space flight and the connection of phenomenon with the uh, intracranial pressures and also the vascular impairment next is like pilot t is the investigating of uh, reliable of uh, professional activity of the astronauts during the long space flight and uh, you know it's like a study of the possibility of the correction of uh, uh, hemodynamic changes in microgravity and a negative uh, inspire inspiratory pressure uh, this will help them the mechanisms of effectiveness and different methods of preventing the disturbance of the cosmos from the motor and uh, these are all the experiments that we have so far we discussed and uh, 
for the International Space Station experiments like bioastronautics. So the next we go for like what we offer in the Soyuz spacecraft training flight simulators that uh, we offer the training uh, to the um, uh, the early stage of preparing the Cosmo training is like a real time of the flight simulator. Uh, it's for the just for an education purpose. That will be like the at the different levels of uh, the cosmonaut training is like one is for just for the space enthusiasts that can uh, do study feel like an astronauts and they can operate and maneuver the space maneuver uh, the spacecraft and fly on the earth orbit and dock to the international space station that we do in moscow uh, the purpose is like in turn to for the educational and entertaining purpose that may be installed in science pods and thematic children's education and some museums some of the teaching facilities or maybe you can do for entertainment you know, some purpose so this is like a soya spacecraft in uh, the simulator it's like a, as i mentioned you can fly to a different orbit and you can look at the space from uh, the space to the earth and uh, you can uh, control the spacecraft using this so you can see look at in the left side of the image I'm operating the International uh, Space Station. I've been trying to dock to International Space Station using this this so a spacecraft. Uh, that will be like the mission controls. This like the the full size of the small the, this the exact this the size of uh, the spacecraft will be a little smaller than the real. This is the bigger than real one. So because uh, we were trying to give the comfortness to to operate the spacecraft in the space. So we given. Uh, the enough space for them to the, we have the different windows that we can display about the uh, the orientation of the spacecraft and uh, what uh, what velocity is and what is the acceleration you are giving and because I mean the space script controls you can look at that and uh, trying to dock to international space station this is how it look like and this was the previously it was an exhibited in a different places with our russian partner in moscow so we they are working with a keen on spacecraft simulators that uh, we offer the training to some of the cosmonauts are operating the circuit i mean the kirkulov is also they are trying to to experiencing the uh, spacecraft the simulators here that maybe and uh, one is the first one is shown the here is like the full size with the, the simulator the second with the joysticks and we're trying to to joining uh, with the with the with this uh, the equipments you know uh, it's trying to the children so getting and getting the training here so the next is we're planning to uh, to start in the space scrap simulators and in, um, in the globe actually this is like um, the training center just uh, the the whole in statistics they can come and sit here and doing that perform the training here it's like um, this is uh, like uh, seven people had to accommodate at one place and uh, do the simultaneous training and uh, seven spacecraft that flying to trying to dock an international space station and uh, this will be some of the we shown in some of some of the places we shown the exhibitions here and uh, the people they can monitor always the, the position of the spacecraft and then when it is um, how they can fly to the space so uh, those things so it is like the, uh, the people they are getting the training trying to to share their experiences here like so you can look at here for the especially for the children's more this the children's models for for kind of the entertainment or also not only the entertainment it's also the science behind it how to control your spacecraft that is rather than your racing doing mobile car racing or something like that but the simulator is uh, it's uh, showing you know it's a uh, kind of the spacecraft that is flying to the international space station and finding the ways and moving around uh, the international space station and uh, touring around this people maybe they uh, please uh, contact us for to experience the same and uh, we have a lot of group of audience in 2017 it's uh, we have an exhibitor in alpha Futures people, and next we are planning for lunar space station. I mean, space exploration by 2024, or maybe in the line. So, this is our um, the spacecraft. Uh, I mean, like um, collaborating with the Russian, and India, and France, and Malaysia. Our Malaysian partners have designed the structural part of these things, and uh, it's kind of a human trying to 
lands some payload on the moon surface and demonstrate uh, 3D bioprinting uh, some of the experiments we are thinking to carry out. So we have it can be collected by samples from the lunar surface or trying to find the right share of the mission equipment, something we are working on. And uh, this is like a lunar orbital gateway. This is like a habitation technology is like contributing by ECLS systems and thermal control systems and power system components and air, oxygen and nitrogen. It's like a high pressure tanks it means something like we trying to work on small size of the space orbital i mean orbital space station you know the lunar orbiter some kind of a, a small space station is like a pressurized um, uh, module uh, that module can able to take some of the experiments that we can that is uh, orbiting the earth so and also the one small capsule that will orbit to the moon so this is like uh, this is a plans of some of them uh, from the nasa some of them from japanese logistics supplies our configuration is slightly different and a very small tiny one we are working on that and uh, this is uh, like um, how it look like the lunar communication architecture so this will be like more uh, uh, conceptually some of the credits go the credits goes to the IOAG and it's uh, and how you practice in real is common you communicate when you go into the moon it's like uh, there will be a uh, the network to and from earth network there will be like we place uh, some DTN nodes and uh, human lunar outpost and also the robotic rover and uh, there will be extracurricular activities that's doing and satcom connections and mobile habitat and you can the earth station if you look at the dtn nodes and uh, mission control facilities that we try to communicate with them with the dtm and um, with uh, with the over the network of x band and it can go to the co band also trying to in the optical way there will be like a lunar orbital platform is the gateway that can provide uh, between he will be intermediate between the moon and uh, earth so it goes into the lunar network it goes to the DTN modes. Uh, it goes to the cross link. Uh, it can goes to the satellites like lunar relay orbiter. We need the we have the relay orbiters and also DTN nodes for science and uh, uh, you know the relay orbiters that can give in the relaying their signals and it can goes to the lower earth uh, lower orbit uh, science orbiter that's also on the moon. It's like uh, is trying to communicate with the surface moon surface and intermediates the satellites and this goes to the earth so there will be like trying to establish the direct earth link by x band and also the car band and with a 26 j heads so here in the you can look at in the lines in the blue is like a moon to earth from the earth trunk there will be like a trunk tun trunk tunnel like links between the relay orbiter and the stations in the the lines in the green is uh, the moon to uh, from and to from the earth and between the earth orbiters and also landed vehicles and the stations the the dotted lines in the red it goes to the proximity links between the relay orbiters and landing Landed the vehicles in in orbital stations, and the, the cross links between the pink is goes to the two relaying orbiters, and uh, the uh, the next is in like uh, dark brown one is goes to the lunar surface to surface links and wireless link between the surface elements, and uh, the circle one is uh, lunar relay network and lunar lunar, sur uh, lunar surface network and earth network. Yes. The preparation of the full-fledged human space, uh, I mean the preparation before the Artemis is going by 2025, uh, but um, uh, I don't know the 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 real, how the Artemis is really going to land uh, 2025, we are waiting to watch. And uh, the human space uh, pressurized capsule that's Roscosmos is also trying for the, the another mission is like the, to, to sending some uh, long range executions of the human capability of landing again on moon surface and uh, this may be some can be like an autonomous and also some of the equipments that we can fly this is the conceptual view the credits goes to Roscosmos and some of the specifications here look at here is like a two people uh, that but it can able have the four for contingency counting for ECLS and also 
autonomy. The travel distance approximately 10,000 kilometers of total life. It has been powered for the, the fuel cell and plus solar panel. It's like the size will be the 6 meters and 5.42 meters in height and the, the diameter is like the 3.8 meters. Uh, it can have the two people and two space shears. That may be the expecting us to 2029. This is the construction of thing. We are jointly studying the Synergy Moon and we, we are trying to establish the private moon mission similar to like this. And uh, we, I don't know, we let uh, the fate decides. And uh, we continue to actively participate in space exploration and uh, for realizing our challenges missions based on the common goals of the Wales Marines and Synergy Moon. We will cooperate with the international industrial partners like SN Space in Russia and uh, and uh, some of the governmental government agencies. We are collaborating with them and next and future space station missions and the interframe international framework by will simulate the dis discussions for the coordinating and creating the cooperation by such net frameworks we hope continue discussion about the various players and we try to work on the real space station uh, real experiments we are interested to to collaborate with the people who isn't really uh, wanted to go to the flight to the moon or maybe to the space so get yourself into the space we go to uh, lower Earth orbit. So first step, we can develop these small cubes here so that we can help you to fly to the space. And uh, also, we also trying to exploring the asteroid missions, and um, and trying to exploring to international space station missions, and also lunar exploration missions and lunar mining. Um, you want to fly something to the Mars or whatever. So we happy to develop some subsystems and some preparing the science experiments for you guys so um, thank you very much for listening one and all so uh, this is the spare my with my the cosmos again which are with you so he's always um, with me in like in you know, preparing the experiment i mean advising and uh, you know to forcing me to do the right things and uh, uh, here, uh, the space station, this is like a lunar lander in this image and with the, the spacecraft uh, land, uh, I mean the rover, it's like very tiny, the so Vietnam delegates when visiting that in India, so it was taken in this picture. And yes, and uh, all the best you guys, and thank you for patiently looking, waiting, uh, listening our lecture and, uh, and wish you all the best and uh, thank you very much.